Welcome everyone, this is Darby, and I'm going to start a new series on digital painting. And before we get started, before everyone starts watching everything and analyzing everything I do and say, just want to make perfectly clear that I am a traditional trained artist. I went to university, studied, and I specialize in painting. Um, and that is my focus, and we are going to be using um, digital means to do the painting. So everything that I'm about to show you with a different software is things that I've picked up through uh, my passionate study of uh, various art techniques and software on the internet and lots of lots of hours practicing various concepts that I've seen um, through other people's tutorials and through other means online. So these are the uh, tips and tricks that I've seen that I've used that were really helpful to me and hopefully together we can uh, continue our, on our journey of art and um, make something great. Stay tuned, thanks. So today I'd like to talk to you about a new art program so I'm going to show you that real quick. I'm going to open up my Chrome and this is Krita for Krita.org. Uh, this is the program I'm going to be talking specifically about today. Um, you see right over here awesome awesome website free completely free awesome um, you just hit downloads right over here. Now pop that up, and you can use Windows, Mac. Uh, there's a few buggy things about the Mac which uh, my students have right now, but uh, I found ways to work with it, and I think it's great. So um, we're going to continue here. So let me go back here. If you want to check things out, there's videos about Krita, um, all the good things. If you're not sold out just because I said so, um, that's fine. Uh, also. Artist interviews I thought was really cool. So let's jump back just to let you know what we're working with today. I pulled this off the interwebs. Uh, this is what I purchased a few years ago was this bamboo splash tablet. So that's what I'm using right now. I know that's not cutting edge, but um, I really like it. And I'm, I'm sure there's a lot better models out there, better versions. But I haven't had any problems with this. So uh, I'm going to continue to use what I can uh, right now and then. We'll worry about upgrading later. Uh, so we'll just set that off to the side. And then we're going to open things up. So we're going to open up uh, Krita, which is right here. Have it down here. All right, so this is Krita. So this is um, an apple that I made just uh, recently. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. So there's my apple. Um, let's see if I wanted to add that layer right there. Um, it's got a, like, a canvas feel to it, or if I wanted to add this layer right here, I think this is a little bit better. It's got a rough paper texture. Anyways, we're cutting to the end there, so let's dial things back a little bit, and we'll talk about a few things that Krita can do and why it's totally switched from Photoshop to Krita. The number one reason is Photoshop's amazing for manipulating photos, but for creating art, um, it's not the same. So... Let's uh, say we'll go over to File, and I'm going to go to New. It's got some really great things here. We have um, comic templates um, from different styles. We have uh, all this other stuff. I'm just going to go, I think uh, Custom is what I have set up. I'm going to hit Create. So we have this nice image right here. So if you notice over here, actually let's go over here. So I'll move this over just a bit. This button right here, you click on that, and you can change the layout of everything. So let's go to default. So this is default. And so you got your big layers palette here, very traditional kind of like uh, Photoshop. This button here is your eye, so you can close it or open it. Um, this is uh, your lock button. Okay. Your opacity for the layer is right here. Uh, your blending mode is right here. Um, it was really cool. You have all these blending modes, and then you have all these extra things. Uh, so I forgot to let you know uh, how you start something. So let's say we're drawing something. Um, if you right-click your mouse or your pen, up will pop your quick selector. And so you can pick your colors this way. Uh, also here, you hit X, and you can switch. Okay, or hit X again, and you can switch, or you hit D, and I'll go back to the default. Um, you can hit this button here, 
and then you can switch between preset um, um, items. So that's kind of cool. Um, I do not know. I haven't took taken time to investigate how you put your favorite presets on there. So stay tuned because I'm sure I'll make one for that. Um, but anyway, so let's say we got something down here. If you go over to file and you hit save, it's not going to save. If you just do everything else and title something, hit enter. You actually have to type in a title, hit dot kra, then switch the location to let's say wherever your desktop. If you just leave it with a hard drive, it won't save. And if you don't put dot kra, it won't save. It's some sort of, I believe, Mac hiccup. So you do that, um, and bada boom, you're done.